This screencast is a quick tutorial on using a mop, the automatic mop object for C++ on the NetBurner. So this is the home for the site and there's not a lot of documentation but they do have their own unit testing belt which is probably the easiest way to learn how to use it. So I grabbed their set of unit tests and just threw it into a file, created a, a basic NetBurner device project and then all I've done so far is in main um, did some includes for the unit test um, and then put the the call to run all the unit tests in here and uh, so now we need to go put in all the correct references that we need for libraries and let's do that right now so I'm just going to go down to properties which was off the screen on the project and we'll go to C++ paths and symbols Let's just go ahead and add, um, and we need the regular NetBurner C++ stuff. Right there. And let's make a reference to the testing framework. Let's make a reference to the libraries themselves for the the build. So under the linker libraries, we're just going to add. We'll just do quickly and do the uh, reference here to the library. It's already built there, and then to the unit testing one. So anyway, I, I pointed originally at this project. That's not what we want. We want the include files. So we just say A and go to the file system. But just to save some time, wherever you've put it on your file system, you can either navigate to that path or paste it in. So I've just pasted it in. And now that should go away. And if we drag this up, take a look. Console. OK, we still got a few errors. And that's because AMOP uses both exceptions because it's using the unit testing framework as well, unit test plus plus, but it's also using runtime type identification. So let's go turn those features on again off screen, but it's the properties under C plus plus build settings. I believe it's under miscellaneous. We're going to enable runtime and exceptions. Say OK. Okay, and then we'll just go and load that, create configuration, so click new, automatic picks everything up correctly, and let's just say run, it's starting, boop, and there's the tests, 35 tests passed, so we successfully built AMOP and run its uh, unit tests. Hey. 